want to tell you about this book, this scrapbook, because um, there's a nice story to it. I bought this in spring 2018 because since 2015, we'd been feeling or, well, we had the feeling we were being called to get a house in France, which made no sense to us at the time. Like, why? We don't need a house in France. We were happy in the Netherlands. And so we spent a couple of years just playing with that thought and with that idea, like, why is it calling us? So we just started driving to France during holidays and just pretending that we were taking that calling seriously and actually looking for houses. Throughout the years, we just we couldn't really figure out whether it was really a calling, like we were supposed to be doing that, or whether it was maybe representing something that we wanted in our life. Um, as you know, that is often the case. You think you want something, but it actually represents something else. Uh, so we just wanted to take our time to feel into that. So I bought this book as a manifestation. Uh, I don't know if you know about that. I mean, maybe you've read the book The Secret, which is... I think a very incomplete version of how law of attraction works and um, how we can feel our way into a reality that we're trying to create in our life. Um, and I think the secret bypasses the bit where you have to feel all the emotions that come with that. And I think the secret kind of bypasses that and talks about you have to feel good all the time, but that's just not how how we as humans work and how um, manifesting and using the laws of the universe work, in my opinion. I wanted to use this as a manifestation um, scrapbook and just start collecting images, journal, and just so that I could understand what that guidance meant. And actually, before I started using this, it was June. I remember saying to Olaf, you know, what if we just, what if we see my parents can have the kids for two or three days and we just drive to Burgundy and I need to, I feel like I need to be on the land. Like I need to be in Burgundy. We knew that of all of France, Burgundy was the place that called us most. You're probably guessing it now. That was the small trip, short trip, two or three days, I think in which we found this house with no intention of buying it. But then when we found it, we just felt there's a whole other story to that that I might be sharing in a more extensive video. It is full of synchronicities. It is, it is a gorgeous, beautiful story. It's almost too good to be true of how we felt like this is the house. So this then turned into the book that I used to create the mood boards for, for this house and it was supposed to be a holiday home. We never had the intention to live here permanently. Uh, that happened after the first holiday that we spent here. We bought the house in June. We got the keys in September of 2018, we spent our first holiday here in October. And when we were going home, I said to Olaf, we're not going home. I feel like I'm leaving home. And that's sort of how we decided to just move without any preparation. What I liked about the first pages that when I thought this was going to be a holiday home, what do I want this place to offer to us? What do I want to experience when I'm here? And I took this quote by Eckhart Tolle that you may know, and it says, it's in Dutch, but it says, where is life? It is always in the present, nowhere else, and definitely not in time. And that kind of said it all, um, going back to the essence of life, living a more simple life, being closer to nature, slowing down. It was really the kind of things that we wanted in, in this house. We really wanted to not escape, because escaping, I think that doesn't work. Escaping the life that you currently have doesn't really work. But we wanted to complement the life that we had because we felt that we were both really city people with busy lives and flourishing businesses and meeting people and going out and doing stuff and creating stuff. But we also needed the peacefulness of nature and the countryside. And we just wanted to find a way to have both. Like, why not have both? What if we could have both? I really believe that our universe is and and. And so many people, when they try to create something in their life, they say, well, I can't have that because if I have that, then I have to give up on this. You know, I can't do this because, 
And then somehow we trick ourselves into believing that we it's an either or world. I think that is one of the biggest issues that we're currently living as the humankind in our world today. And that is that we've come to believe that it's either or that we're separate, that the whole whole idea of oneness and 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 the universe ever expanding into becoming more and being more we seem to have forgotten about that just wanted to share a couple of these images with you um, just to show you what the ideas were at first for this house i haven't really shown much of this part of the house yet because this is the, the, the old part that we haven't touched at all. And I do notice that my style has changed over time. When I thought this was going to be a holiday home, I was definitely looking at a more brocante, uh, I would call it feminine style with furniture that's a little more, well, I'd call it almost over the top. And then when we decided to move here, I realized I wanted things to be a little more, um, pure and a little more rustic and a little more uh, épuré as they say in French. So less stuff, less ornaments, less decorating and more like simple shapes and forms, just less. So today I was going to make some drawings and gather some ideas for our future kitchen. This is the kitchen we currently have. We didn't touch it. This is the way we found it. It is really cold in the winter, it is humid, it is really not a very nice place. It is though how most farmhouse kitchens are in France, like most old farmhouses have kitchens like this, like with all different kinds of furniture, not necessarily all the matching cabinets that you have, for example, in the Netherlands, which is nice, I kind of like that style. It's just, this one is just old and dirty and I just I can't wait to have a new nicer kitchen and I've been looking at different options and I saw this really nice kitchen in the Provence in the house that I went to a few weeks ago. I like that style. I like the farmhouse sink a lot, that really warm kitchen like the heart of the home and I'm just trying to gather different ideas and we have plenty of time because that is not until at least a year or two years from now that we need to decide on that because we need to finish all the other works in the house. I wanted to share this recipe with you for what I call the lazy mom's homemade bread. And I'm using spelt flour, which needs a lot of less kneading than any other flour. So this is really very quick and easy to make. I know that when we moved here, the one thing we loved about France is the delicious bread, like baguette, croissant, pain au chocolat. But after two years, we have to say we miss the really wholesome, full grain bread that we used to make in the Netherlands. So we're making that bread now in our simple oven, but I have in my future kitchen, I will have a Lacanche range which is made just in the next village. Really famous um, cooking stoves range. I don't know what you call it. You know, I managed to get all kinds of really lovely dishes out of this kitchen, but I can't wait to have a proper kitchen again. Oh. 
it's drizzling and Olaf has spent all day working on the cabin. He's currently installing the electricity. He's already done the plumbing. Hey guys! Like it, huh? Oh, sorry, English. Homemade. Homemade? Yeah, but taste it, it's really good. Mm -hmm.